And happy birthday to Troll King. Uh, yeah, this is another birthday one. Like I said, uh, well, I guess I mentioned it in the next video. A lot of March babies uh, who want some uh, birthday requests. Hey, look, I as long as I get the day noticed beforehand, I'm willing to do it. Like, I, I, as always, just to preface it again, never give me the request on the day of. That's just... I'll still try to do it, but that's just, you need to give me at least a little time, because I already set out my schedule for the month, so that already adds another video that I have to do. Luckily, the birthday videos are usually very quick. Uh, and this one was Bill Cipher versus Final Wars version of Godzilla. Okay, so in Final Wars, Godzilla is swiftly defeated. Well, he's not really, def I mean, he's technically defeated, but what it's ultimately is that they kind of freeze him, if I'm not mistaken, like an iceberg, and they keep him contained. Ultimately, aliens come, from planet, if I'm not mistaken, from Planet X, and they, you know, they start using the monsters to destroy the world, and they release Godzilla, and he starts whipping all their asses, until they send out Monster Zero, who is... Was it Monster Zero or Monster X? I can't remember exactly what it is. Point being, the monster actually turns out to be a different version of Ghidorah. Kaiser Ghidorah, to be precise. And Final, uh, Final Wars Godzilla ultimately does defeat him. Now, in terms of what this Godzilla actually was capable of doing, well, this Godzilla was capable of beating pretty much all the monsters on his own up until King Ghidorah. And, and even then, he still beat it, just needed an amp just like Ghidorah got. That means you're talking about a guy who beat... Uh, Rodan, who beat, uh, uh, was it Kamonga, Hidora, uh, Emera, basically the, the lobster, Gigan. Um, the only one he didn't actually beat was Mothra, because Mothra was actually on his side. Uh, but yes, they, he pretty much beat uh, King Caesar. That was an arrow. So yeah, he beat all the rest. The only one who wasn't there was Space Godzilla, Biollante, and all the other guys in the Godzilla Millennium series, now that I think about it. And Mecha Godzilla. Those are the only ones I think who weren't there. Everyone else was there, and he beat them pretty soundly. Uh, this is a Godzilla who's a who basically slowed down a extinction level meteor, took the remainder to the face, and didn't flinch. <laughs> like boom. What else you got? <laughs> like that's that's how I still remember that scene. Like he took a meteor to the face, man. Godzilla's a bad. I love me Godzilla. I'll, I'll eat up Godzilla every day. And then he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with um, the monster... I think it was Mon I think it was Monster X. I can't remember the actual name of the humanoid Power Ranger-looking one. Uh, <laughs> until he turned it into Ghidorah. But, yeah. And then he got his ant with his uh, spiral death... Re or spiral... Red spiral... Uh, Peep beam. I can't remember exactly uh, what exactly it was called. But point being, he got that and whooped his ass with that. So that's all well and good. He's Millennium Series Godzilla... Granted, there are different Millennium series. All of them are very loosely connected, if not not connected at all. Uh, like the Tokyo SOS, the Mecha Godzilla stories, those are connected. But Godzilla 2000, G GMK, All Monsters Attack, and Final Wars are not connected. They're all kind of just different Millennium series movies. Uh, <clears throat> and, yeah, that's all well and good. The problem here is that this is Bill Cipher. Now, before anyone asks, we have to do Bill Cipher with him released. We can't use... Because he's a dream demon, kind of, what it is. Uh, I believe that's what he's called. I could be wrong on that. What is he actually called? Point being, he can't really do much unless he's given permission to um, be in the real world. Uh, so, if, until... Unless he's... Um, Unless he, he's a, yeah, he's a triangle interdimensional demon permanently existed only in the mindscape of the before succeeding and gaining access to the real world. So look, long story short, if you can't gain access to the real world, there's no fight. So this video can't happen. So obviously, we have to use him in a physical form. But the problem with that is very simple. In the physical world, his physical form, he is a nigh omnipotent bringer and bringing in. He is a nigh-omnipotent god, basically, bringing inanimate objects to life, turning people into statues of the material of his choice. He can regenerate every aspect of himself, create everything from objects to elaborate pocket dimensions like Mabel's prison bubble, produce electrical charges shot from his eyes. His ability is in this form also includes uh, abhorration, inter-universal travel, matter manipulation, telekinesis, pyrokinesis, time manipulation, telepathy, mind control, illusion manipulation, dream manipulation, nightmare inducement, madness inducement, you create bubbles that induce madness in, wherever, in whatever they touch, clairvoyance, 
Object summoning, intangibility, reality warping, levitation, possession, precognition, size alteration, fourth wall awareness, he's aware... Sorry, add. Uh, fourth wall awareness, he is aware of the real world and can see us, and resistance to reality warping and space-time manipulation. He even surpasses Time Baby's power, which he displays by disintegrating him during the word, uh, weird again, weird Mageddon Part 1. Bill himself declares that he controls space, matter, and after getting Time Baby out of the way, time itself. So he does have limitations to his power. His physical eye proved particularly sensitive and took more time to regenerate than others. Uh, even while capable of vastly affecting the physical world, he could still not enter bodies or conscious mind without contracts and handshakes. Uh, Gravity, Ball's, Gravity Falls' bubble of weirdness also thwarted his powers, as no amount of hitting or shooting uh, could dissolve the barrier. There's also a prophecy, but that doesn't matter. The point is... That this is a being who in the Godzilla world, take that damn hyperversal game out of the equation, uh, that there's no version of Godzilla that exists that could do anything against Bill Cipher. The strongest versions of Godzilla would be like the one that showed up in Marvel when toe to toe with Thor. Godzilla Earth is right up on there as well. Um... Millennium Series is very powerful. He is. Like, if we're thinking this, if we were to go with the idea that this Millennium Series is the same as uh, all the other versions of Godzilla, just in different continuities in that um, uh, franchise, then this Godzilla also is capable of surviving a black hole, a uh, man made black hole to the face. And he's capable of surviving absolute zero temperatures with only slight damage. That doesn't freaking matter, though, because this guy can literally just turn Godzilla to stone if you want. Oh, Godzilla for in hell. That's another one. That's a, one of the strong, strongest versions of Godzilla also. But that doesn't matter because nothing about that is true, like, omnipotent God-level power against Godzilla. Yeah, he's in hell, but he was just sent to hell. That's it. Uh, it's not like he actually fought Satan. He did feed, fight Zeus for a little bit. Um... But the problem is we're not talking about individuals who just throw, like, energy projectiles or just throw them into, another, like, a different plane. No, we're talking about a guy who could literally travel, controls ma all matter, space, and time, basically. <laughs> Godzilla don't have those kind of powers. He's not used to those kind of powers, and he probably would fall pretty quick to some of those kind of powers. So, unfortunately, this is kind of an honest If Godzilla showed up, it's like, say, weird Maget weird, weird and Mageddon. Uh, in the weird bubble, it, Bill Cipher is like, huh? And it maybe a textable Cipher may hits the eye. like, oh, you son of a bitch! It just grows the eye back. Just, all right, well that was fun. Moving on, that's it. That's all what happened. Uh, I mean, yeah, Bill's got some limitations, but his limitations are nothing compared to Godzilla. Like Godzilla's highest feats, Final Wars Godzilla, which is the one we were you asked me to do, Final Wars Godzilla. Final Wars Godzilla's highest feats. Or something that Bill could just sneeze out as his lowest feat. That, that's the big difference here between the two. You're just talking about two different types of beings. Uh, and that's just, it's it's a pretty big smackdown on Godzilla's part. Uh, so yeah, Bill would win this fight. 100% he'd win this fight. Uh, is there any, like, if, is there any percentage chance that he could lose? I suppose in theory theory if Godzilla was somehow used in the plan that was ultimately used to defeat Bill, but it's not likely. Anyway, I digress. That's my thoughts now. Happy birthday, King of Trolls. Uh, I will see you for the next one. I got plenty of other videos I gotta do today, so thanks for watching. I'll see you later.